Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're going to talk about external dovetails or slides. In the previous video, I showed how you use measuring pins to check the measurements or dimensions on a V-groove. We need to do the same thing with both external and internal dovetails. It is impossible to measure this dimension or this dimension precisely. Therefore, pins are used and dimensions are found with those pins to check the accuracy or precision of your dimensions. Let's take a look at an example. We have a block that has an external dovetail. We know that the angle is 60 degrees, which is a very common angle with dovetails. You might see 45 degrees. Mathematically, it could be any angle, but typically you're going to see 60 degrees. You're going to be given this length here, which is 5.500 in this case. On your blueprints, you're going to also know what this length should be. But once this is machined, it's impossible for us to measure that. So that's why we're going to use these measuring pins. What we're going to do is measure the distance from the outside of each of those pins. That's going to be length Y. We can also measure from the outside of the pin to the outside of the piece, and that's going to be X. So what we want to do is calculate what X and Y should be given these dimensions so that when you actually measure those things, you'll know whether you're correct or not. Before we start doing the calculations, I just want to talk about a little bit of geometry. In the last video, I talked about a tangent line touching a circle and creating a right angle with the radius. So if we have a circle and we have two tangent lines that intersect at this point, each of those tangent lines will form a right angle with the radius from that point to the center. So that's a right angle here, and this is a right angle. If I were to bisect that angle created by those two tangent lines, they would be identical or equivalent right triangles because these two sides are equivalent and these two lengths would also be equivalent. This angle would be half of the total angle. This angle would be half of the total angle. We're going to use this information in our calculations. What we need to do is bisect, here's our two tangent lines with our circle. We're going to bisect that. We're going to go to the center of the circle. That's going to form a right angle with this tangent line. We just need to deal with one of the triangles. We don't need to deal with both. Here's the right triangle we're going to use. I can find this length here using trigonometry. And I've talked about the trig ratios in a previous video, so if you haven't taken a look at that, I suggest you go do that first. So we're going to use trigonometry to find this length. We know this length, it's simply the radius of the circle. Once I know this length, this length will be identical because it's the same right triangle here and it's the same radius here. Then I can use that distance and that distance with this distance to find y. So let's start with this triangle. And my dovetail angle is 60 degrees, so when I bisect that, that will be 30 degrees. Here's my right angle. This is the radius. The diameter is 11 sixteenths of an inch, which is 0.6875 inches. Radius is half of that, so the radius will be 0.34375. That's this value on my right triangle. What I want to find is this length, I'm going to call it A. In terms of my right triangle, this side is the opposite side. This side is the adjacent side. The trig function that uses opposite and adjacent is the tangent function. So the tangent of 30 degrees will equal the opposite side, which is 0.34375, divided by the adjacent side, which is A. In order to solve for A, I need to get it out of the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this side by A, so it will cancel. And whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to have A times the tangent of 30 degrees equals 0.34375. The A cancels. Now to find A, I'm going to divide both sides by the tangent of 30 degrees. So tangent of 30 degrees cancels here. A will equal 0.34375 divided by tangent of 30 degrees, and that value is 0.34375. 
0.5954 inches. I've rounded off to four decimal places, but I'm going to actually leave that value on my calculator to continue with my calculations. So now that I know A, this value is R, and I know R is 0.34375. This value A plus R will be 0.5954 inches plus 0.34375 inches which is 0.93914 inches. Again, I'm keeping the actual value on my calculator. So I know this distance here, this length here, is 0.93914 inches. I know this length here is the same. Therefore, I can find both y and x. Let's find y, y will equal 2.656 inches plus this length plus this length, so two of those lengths. We get a y value of 4.5343 inches. And now we can use that value to find the value of x. We know that 5.5 inches minus y will give us x plus x. So x will equal 5.5 inches minus 4.5343 inches divided by 2. When we calculate that, we get 0.4829 inches. Now you know what the distance between the crown of the pin should be, 4.5343 inches. You also know x, which is the distance from the crown of the pin to the edge or the side of the block, should be 0.4829 inches. So if your measurements are consistent with these, then you know that your dovetail has the dimensions that are on the blueprint and it's positioned correctly. In the next video, we're going to do the same thing with internal dovetails.